Hey, hey, welcome back to episode two of Lethal Tutorial. Of course, in the first episode, we started with the tutorial start, and uh, we're going to do it on lethal. Now, I've got all four of my lethal boons, so I've beaten lethal before, but I've done it with, you know, some legacies or red talons or whatever. Now, in this one, I may or may not bring in a red talon. It all just kind of depends on such things. And safe, it looks like this is where we left off. So we're going to have these episodes about a half hour, a just nice chill episodes. I always like on Lethal how you get the quest for building that materials and then they want you to, to build started. something, but Lethal doesn't give you enough materials to build said we thing. Yeah, it's a real problem. <laughs> what the hell? If we built a workshop, we could keep our weapons in good repair. Right on. This All right, madam. Too small Let's go ahead and term. do that. Let's Media see how many power. weapons did that uh, warlord give? Plenty of weapons. All right. So let's go ahead and grab Victoria. She's a chatty Kathy. I don't know why she's named Victoria. Chatty Kathy would be more appropriate. Let's go ahead and give her one of these ARs. I really don't want to use these. These are emergencies only because they're so flipping loud. And then we've got some uh, blunt weapons. We got a wooden bat. What is that? Probably a wooden bat as well. That's got more durability. That's got a lot more durability. Weighs a lot more, but that's all right. We'll crack on with that sucker. And then while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and grab uh, that and that and hand it to our two other people for siege Glad to defense. See still in one piece. She's doing okay. That's right. She's the soldier. I forgot about that. They come with, uh, you know, rifle. We need they get silenced, allies. actually. The skills and resources they offer are we're going to go ahead and grab to that off of him. That, that's that, and that. And then we'll give him uh, that equipped. Give me that. And then he can have all that. Give me that as well. Why does he have a backpack in there? Hard to say. Hard to say. Put that in there. Uh, no, we're not going to use any of that stuff. Let me see what this rifle is. Hey. Is it suppressed? Access inventory. No, it's not suppressed. That would have been a little OP, right? That's an NPC. They don't need bullets. They use magic bullets. Put that in there. Glory one day at a time, right? Yep, one day at a time. All right, connect with those survivors. We could do that. All right, they want us to talk to Victoria. That's why she was such a chatty Kathy. So we'll talk to her. I'm not sure if that gives you more influence or something, doing all the optional stuff. Let me know in the comments if you think uh, it gives you more influence or XP or whatnot. Nope, don't want to do that. I just want to talk to we Victoria, should think please. About Thank improving you. Our home. Rather than looking for a fight. Yeah, I am I'm all about I a. I think we could use a supply run for ammo. Home. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, uh, personality-wise? Who do you side with more with the uh, four leader types in this game? I think I'm probably more of a trader or builder. Uh, definitely not a sheriff or warlord, but oops, shouldn't should do that. I've been playing uh, on Twitch on a lethal run. Um, and it's just full of like high level, max level, I should say, red talon guys. So, nonetheless, I play with a paladin play style, loud and proud, kicking down front doors, letting the Zeds know exactly where I am because how can I kill them if you know they don't know where I am? They can come find me. Why should I find them? <laughs> now, of course, the way this game works, man, the Zeds are infinite. They are legion. This would be a great place for an outpost, I imagine. I think we killed a blood feral around the corner there, so hopefully there's not another one. I do believe we are still on day one. I decided to go without the camera when I do Let's Plays. I just think that's more immersive and relaxing. Hey, I suppose it could be worse. Maybe I'll go with an ASMR Let's Play. I don't even know if I'm joking or not. You decide. Start construction and a workshop. I don't even know if I have enough materials for that. We're about to find out, though. All right, do we want a workshop? Mm, yep. Nope. I can probably get a red talon one. I think it only costs five materials. <laughs> what do you guys think? Tutorial calling in red talon? Maybe one of the uh, one of our heroes used to date a red talon operative mercenary. Now nah, we'll go as long as we can without a red talon, because normally on this map, I want a red talon so I can get into the uh, diner as fast as possible, because yeah, I really like the diner. Locked. Right, that one's locked. She doesn't have max level stealth. Come on. It's like I uh, I play with such high level characters. It's motor memory to crouch before opening doors. You know, even when I'm on a new character. 
But the main thing for this challenge is just for me to practice Let's Play commentary and also to practice playing on low-level characters because it's been a long time since I've done it. Because uh, if I'm playing on Legacy or Red Talon or whatever, uh, I usually set my base up to where they're being trained. I'm pretty sure I've searched So I don't really play yeah. on the, uh, you know, I'll look at somebody and they've got everything max except stealth is only at, you know, six stars. I'm like, ugh, gross. <laughs> I cannot play with this peasant with not max skills and everything. So I got to break myself of that habit. I'm getting pretty comfortable fighting with the, uh, the max level dudes, but, you know, we got to practice on the other ones. I don't think I made the food market our, uh, Oh, I thought that was a red talon SUV for a hot second. That'd have been amazing. I never find them things on a lethal zone. Let's pull those away. All right. Did I already check that? Yeah, that one's empty. So we can check these ones. Uh, we can connect with survivors. Let's do that real quick. Find resources and people, find Hello. survivors. We're a new community of survivors reaching out to our neighbors. If you can hear me and want to meet up, please reply. It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? I know they're strangers, but I don't see how we can turn our backs on them. I didn't know about that radio for a long time. I think I did probably two dread playthroughs before I uh, got the radio uh, or understood how to use the radio. That's the thing about dread zone. Like I would lose survivors and stuff, but you know, I didn't really learn much about, I say I learn much about the game, the learn the basics, but um, I think a plague heart is nearby. Probably lots of it wasn't until I played too. Nightmare and Lethal that I actually was like really understood how to play the game somewhat. Yeah. Alright, normally Someone I would just run around and kill all those help. guys to save this enclave, but we're gonna play a little more I got more where that came from. Conservative. Because I wanna beat this. I'm about and to if drop. I could beat it with my two main heroes alive, or my four main heroes, I should say, the starting characters, that's my main goal. Beat this map with all four of them still alive. But to do that, I have to be able to uh, walk around houses without getting stuck on things. Right, that guy wants in. I don't want him in here. There we go. Let's knock him over. I've got to keep playing. that one down. Man, a lot of bad guys over there. What are we playing? Lethal zone? Look at that. What is that, a horde? Yeah, that one's on me. All right, let's go back this way. Oh, man, look how slow she moves. She's so slow. All right, we're going to help these guys out. They're going to help us out, hopefully. Let's practice fighting. I think We're Blunt is one of the more fun melee like... weapons, but it's also my you, least favorite for, like, you know, nearby. getting things done. I don't like its kill animation and stuff. I owe you for that. They want plague samples, of course. We might have gotten some. Uh, let's get a map. Connect with the survivors. It seems like our neighbors are short on food. Oh, they want food. Well, we could that pull out. some surplus food from our storage. Or we could go out scavenging for them, I suppose. I thought that was the, uh plague sample quest that's usually your first quest but i think i have enough hours where i kind of ignore a lot of chatter on the radio this is going to be a good day unless it sounds like it might um might be different or interesting on my twitch stream uh community i uh got the action hero mission the other day which is oh, i think only the second time i've ever gotten the action your mission. That's a fun one. I enjoy that one. And I enjoy that personality. I don't think I'd enjoy the personality of the action here in real life, but uh I enjoy them on TV. That's almost as much as I can carry. Alright, so we did that. We can no longer scavenge where communities live. That's a new no new. -no. Alright, can I put gas in you? Now we'll hold off on that. We don't want to waste gas this early in the playthrough. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. All right, so if I can get like I don't know, full inventory, full of snacks, maybe we can blow up a plague heart or something. <laughs> I need all the. Normally, how I do plague hearts is heavy melee weapons. I do think I have a heavy melee weapon, which is nice. I also want to try not to 
try not to uh, increase the difficulty of the map so fast. Because uh, usually I just kill freaks or whatever, willy-nilly kill a plague heart when, I'm, when it strikes me when I'm in the mood. I don't even know. How does it work? If you if you just stand there and do nothing, how many in-game days does it take for the map to be max difficulty? I mean, I don't even know. All right, let's go for that stuff. I see a lot of players just running through the woods now because, you know, I'll watch uh, people play on Twitch or I'll watch a YouTuber called Sawsome Gaming. You'll see him uh, commenting on my videos every now and again. Really nice guy. I can't let that screen yeah, bring sub to more him. friends. Alright, so that one I might... Oop, nope, he's gonna do it. He did it, he did it. My bad. You need a rest. This woman must have been a two-pack-a-day smoker to already need a rest after that. Oop, I'm going the wrong way already. Well, I've got 30 rounds of 5.56. Five, that should be enough, right? We should be alright. I think we're about to get Victoria killed, guys. I got a feeling... I'm at the mood striking me. I only have one left. All right. Because when I first did lethal, I did a lot of this, a lot of that, you know. And uh, I just can't be bothered. Fast and loose, hardcore. That is preluded, which makes me sad. What are her skills anyway? She is a chemist. That should be good. She's got a good posture. Not sure exactly what that does, but uh, makes them more attractive, supposedly. I have gamer posture currently. I'm trying to straighten it out somewhat. How about you guys? You guys got gamer posture out there? I don't see anything I had a girlfriend about a, as oblivious as that Zed right there. <laughs> oh. We only dated for, uh, I don't know, a couple months or something. But that was back in high school. I think we were all oblivious in high school. Both the warehouses are pre-looted, as we just learned. Okay, where are we going to go next? We can go to that place. Let's go to that place, I guess. We just want the rucksack, right? What do we have? Well, we have 12 materials. That's almost enough. Uh, we're close. Or no, we got enough. That's right, it's eight. We'll, we'll do that. So they were... Those are the base facilities. I always call them structures or workshops because in other games that I have played, that's what we would call them. But in this game, they are facilities. I'll see if I can remember that. Pretty sure I already forgot. When that workshop is done, we'll be able to keep our weapons from falling apart on us. All right, I've only got one bag of snacks. There's nothing worse than being unarmed out And there. a crumb of chicken on our lips because that was probably the last real meal she had was some chicken. You know, there are no animals in this game. Uh, we'll have to see if State of Decay 3... I heard a rumor that, you know, the zombie deer from the State of Decay 3 cinematic was just creative licensed by the, the people that Did created the cinematic. Like, the actual please. people making the game, the devs, had no clue that that, <laughs> that was going to be the cinematic. I thought that was an interesting rumor. I don't know if that's true or not. If you know if that rumor is true or not, let me know. Coming into town. I noticed a military site not far away. We should set up an outpost there ASAP. Not outpost, only will it provide huh? a steady supply of ammo, it'll send a clear message to any strangers coming into town. That's cool. This PPK, I think, would be more appropriate for her to utilize. Might even drop that. Does that make me lightweight? Yeah, it does. Man, I love me a PPK. I think my favorite, though, is the Echo Revolver, or, the, or even the Restored Echo Revolver. Revolver. Nah, most people would edit that out in a YouTube video. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let you know how I talk in real life. <laughs> Alright, we'll just use that. We should be able to take out a feral with that. He says before disaster. Alright, do I have any more snacks? That's what I came here for. Uh, no, we don't have any snacks. I do have some we stems, but I don't really want to yes. use stems. No, I don't have stems either. I have a pipe bomb. Nah, we're gonna roll this way. Okay, is that done yet? Glorious. All right, so let's start making parts with this. Technically, I should wait to do this until I get a, a salvage furnace or something like that. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? What else do we want to build? Mm, fighting. Ooh, a latrine. That takes three. That'll help us with morale. Yeah, let's do it. Because the cool thing about the facilities, you get all your resources back, unlike outposts. 
when you have to abandon an outpost, uh, you get some of your influence and materials back, but not all. All right, they want me to claim uh, that thing right there, so that is what we will do. Connect. What do you want me to do? Rucksack of food. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's become BFFs with them, so we have a good trading partner. Perfect. How are you guys feeling about State of Decay in 2022? Those guys know I'm here. I didn't start playing State of Decay until 2021 or maybe 2020. I can't really remember. I have to go look at my achievements. Uh, see one exactly. Because I know I only played it for about a week or two on Xbox Game Pass on the PC. And then... I didn't play it again until probably six months later Nothing on, um, you know, yeah, when it was on sale on Steam, I bought it. I had forgotten about the game until I saw it was on sale. Then I bought that in State of Decay hey, 1. I suppose it could be worse. I only played State of Decay 1 for about an hour. Um, anytime I thought about playing that one, I would, you know, find myself playing State of Decay 2. I do want to finish it, though, for completionist reasons and because I enjoy the, uh, the story and the lore of State of Decay. the ticket there we go All what right. do you guys think Time you think we can get two rucksacks two rucksacks on lethal i highly doubt it in fact i already know it's no bueno because i don't think you find rucksacks in toolboxes like that or tackle box whatever that is all right so we did that do we have enough room for that we'll find out soon i don't hear any zeds so let's jog a little bit we see some zeds there there's one there Put that away, that away, that away, and that away. You know, I never use these fireworks. I should probably start using those. Well, I take that back. I used them yesterday with bloater gas. It was the first time I was killing playguards with bloater gas. All right, I don't hear anybody over here. Locked. That is quite locked. We do not want to bang on that right now. Uh, I'm willing to bet there's at least one or two sleeping Zeds in there. Ooh, that's a problem. I don't know, do we risk it for the biscuit, guys? What's louder, sprinting into it or banging onto it multiple times? We're going to sprint and try to look at the mini-map and see. Boom, that was pretty loud. I nothing heard that. Pretty loud, pretty loud. Let's hurry up and clear it so nobody spawns. Yep, there's somebody. Breathe easy. No more creepers here. Oh, I disagree with you, Victoria. She is not a Red Talon mercenary, so she is not so good at her belongings. I say <laughs> not so good with her belongings. Alright, well, let's go this way and we'll sneak up on the Zeds. See the, bloater. the chunky monkeys. They're really good at the apocalypse. That's why they're uh, so chunky. They are well fed. Because we haven't seen any animals, so I'm assuming the Zeds have eaten them all. That's my only, uh, all right, there's two there looking my way. That's not good. All right, so let's go back this way. They did open the door for me, though. Actually, I take it back. I opened the door for me. I already forgot what's going on. All right, let's do sneaky, sneaky. Oop, that one's looking at my face, too, huh? Well, this is just embarrassing. Hopefully they don't scream. That's the only thing I can say. I can't keep this up. Ooh, that's gonna be a little louder than I wanted it to be. Perfect. But playing with the uh, max level characters, I have a lot of front facing execute guys, so. That'll get me bitten or probably killed at some point trying to execute a zombie from the front with a low level. But I've heard it said by a lot of veteran State of Decay 2 players that uh, the early game is their favorite part, you know, with low level characters. And then the guys that have the, uh, 
you know, triple degree black belt or whatever, uh, they have to challenge themselves in other ways. They have to come up with their own rules, like solo run, you know, no play cures, like Sauce of Gaming is doing that. that right now, which is fun. I'll have to work on that. If I can clear this one with four low-level guys, maybe we'll go. Well, four low-level guys, and if I don't break and call in Red Talon. <laughs> I really That's like Red not Talon. Going to fit. Oh, we are quite full. So let's find the rucksack and kick rocks. There we go. We got the rucksack. I've searched through everything here. All right, that's probably worth more than that. I do believe I'm that weighs more a bit than much that. Right now. It's five parts. That's worth way more than five parts. So we'll take that. Because I judge everything by parts. Because I know that one part's worth one influence. So that's how I do the math. And you too could do the math that way. All right, let's see what's in here. That's not going pretty to good. Fit. Pretty good luxury item. I will call this Salvadron a success. I probably shouldn't kill that Screamer. It gives two influence, but I really don't know how much that increases difficulty of the map. And honestly, I kind of don't like knowing all the math of a video game. It takes me out of the game itself. I like to go by feel, you know, getting merged into it. And be like, you know what? I feel like the thing. I feel like it, there's more zombies today than there were yesterday. Instead of saying, well, statistically, it's because I earned X amount of influence and this happened and it triggered this event. You know. Oh, feels good to get everything home. All right. Should I give the rucksack to them? How much food do we have? We have 19, but we're probably burning through food like mad. What do we have? Four. So somebody's got a bonus to uh, food. I didn't even look at their traits. We got that one, chemistry, medicine, and she's open. Negative 25% food consumed per day. Right on. But that's not him. That must be community. I wonder why it doesn't say community there, because the mass says it's community. Anyway. All right, let's head that way, and we will do this. I guess That'd I should could also do like edited YouTube videos, you know, that way I could edit out the boring stuff. But, you know, I used to watch a lot of Let's Plays a few years ago, and I kind of enjoyed the uh, the minutia of a playthrough. You know, just listening to a guy talk I about his I day or whatever. Into plague territory. Kind of using his uh, audience as a uh, de facto therapist. I don't think that's what I'm going to do, but we'll see what happens. Never say never. And never give up, never surrender. Boop, boop. All right. I learned long ago that killing them really doesn't do much because they just spawn in again. <laughs> All right, let's grab our rucksack. Let's see, are they on me? I think they're still on me, yeah? Yeah, they're still on me. All right, let's let these guys help us out. There we go, now we're talking. Boom. Perfect. Okay, thanks. All right, who wants it? She wants it. We got Nikki. Thanks. Let's deliver that really to her. She's a bit of a chatty Kathy as well. Sure thing. Nice. Look at them go. Look at them go. Human enclaves. The frontier is inhabited by many small enclaves of human survivors. If you're helpful, they can become allies, trading partners, or recruits. Ignore or betray them, and they may become dangerous hostiles. Fun, fun. See you. All right, see what they got to trade. See you. Wait. Good to know there are other people there we go. stand with us. All right, nothing we need, nothing we need. If we work at it, we could build a society out here that actually lasts. Want to loot all that stuff. One thing that really got my communities killed when I was learning the game was trying to do, like, missions when I didn't even have my base set up, you know? I didn't have the proper facilities built, you know, I was running low on resources and everything, and I was still giving away rucksacks to random enclaves. Oh, that's bloater. Hello. Uh, so now, to me, this is kind of like uh, when the stewardess is telling you about, um, you know, the safety rules on an airline flight. You know, like you gotta, you gotta put the oxygen mask around your face before you put on anybody else's. You know, 
Because you can't help anybody else if you yourself need help. So that's kind of how I go now, and that's the correct way to play this. All right, so she's probably going to get tired soon. Be my last. Not really sure. That's what makes life worth living. But now what we'll do is we're going to call that episode two because it's been about 25 minutes, give or take, and anything that I would do now would take more than that. I really want to keep these below a half an hour. And I'm a micro, you know, YouTuber and Twitch streamer, you know. I mean, I'm, I've got a little bit bigger of an audience on Twitch, but on YouTube, uh, this is just kind of like for me, practice it, doing the Let's Plays and all that. Maybe in the future I'll start trying to do like uh, edited, story-driven stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you for episode three. Take care.